nerd alert. It's all right. But that's yeah. it, nerd alert. How about techie? That's a little bit more uh, positive spin on it. Welcome, everybody. We're going to be talking a little bit about tech, which is one of my favorite things to do. I'm Jeff Greenfield, the CEO of Third Sun Solar. With me are two of our techiest tech people, uh, Catherine Bigler and Bradley McCoy. And we're all going to dive into storage. Uh, we've talked quite a bit about storage of a variety of types. I am old school and started Third Sun after building an off-grid house that was 100% on solar and wind and a 100 plus year old battery technology of lead acid. And battery technology has come a long way. And we're really excited about the latest uh, innovations, uh, including what's coming from Enphase. One of the things that people are really excited about this battery is it's got redundancy. Um, but a lot of people don't know, well, that's a funny word. What does redundancy mean? So uh, the redundancy in the in-charge batteries is that there's multiple different inverters in it. If one goes out, another one just picks up. It does, you do lose a little bit of um, surge, but it's, it's not terrible. And what's great about Enphase is they monitor their systems really well. They contact the customer um, and let them know that hey, you got one out and let's see what's going on with it and what, what could be the issue. So on a plain battery, a brand T battery, if a battery goes down, you're SOL. You're, you're not going to have any backup power. But with this product from Enphase, the N-Charge 10 is three individual N-Charge 3s put together and each three has four inverters. Okay. So essentially, like if you have one N-Charge 3, and an inverter goes down, you're running at 75% power. And then if three of them go down, you're running at 25% power, but you're still getting some power from it rather than the whole system being down. If one of those inverters go down, Enphase can actually monitor that. And instead of taking who knows how long to send a service rep out to investigate what's wrong with it, they can see what's wrong with it from the computer system and know, okay, well, you know, your number three inverter's down. And essentially they could ship you a new one and you could almost do it yourself. Yeah. Their remote monitoring is superb. I believe um, not just with batteries, but also with micro inverters as well. So, so just wrapping up redundancy uh, on, on one of the larger systems that we could put together for a client, they might have 12 actual individual inverters in that system. So if mm -hmm. one goes down, they'd be at 11 out of 12. So mm -hmm. that seems like it's a lot more resilient, a lot stronger. And what people want here is backup power and they want to have reliability. So that's great. Catherine, you brought up the, the app. What's it called? Enlighten. So yeah, Enphase um, is a very punny company. They like to, to pun it up. And so they, yeah, the, the battery system's called um, Ensemble. And then they have an in-charge battery, the communication, um, system or the anti-islanding system that they use is called an empower and then their app is called enlighten um and it's a really awesome app because you aren't just monitoring your battery system you're also ma ma managing um, or monitoring your uh, system on the roof so it's really cool because it actually can go down to the the module level so it'll tell you how much one module is creating in power, which I like that a lot. It, it literally shows a view of the roof um, and shows the array. And then you can click on each module and see how much um, wattage it's making. But it also, you know, collectively creates, uh, shows you your entire PV um, source that's coming into your house. Um, so I, I just think it's a very um, user friendly. We've seen a lot of different projects and a lot of them are integrating a product from this manufacturer, a product from that manufacturer. And there can be problems with the compatibility, problems with uh, redundant, you know, with uh, you're, you're paying for multiple systems that you don't really need. Uh, so, so I like one manufacturer for a complete package as a microinverter, as a monitoring software in the app, and it also has the storage and it has the the actual, uh, I guess you'd call it the the storage inverter uh, mm -hmm. that could supply your house during a, a power outage. How about the battery chemistry? That's different too. Like the majority of 
lithium, we say lithium batteries as though there's only one kind of lithium, but there's, if you're nerds, nerd alert. So the techies will talk about lithium and they'll break it out and talk about the different aspects of different lithium chemistries. And some of them have been developed to be lightweight, like the, the batteries in our cell phones, the batteries in our computers, the batteries in electro, electric vehicles. It's mm -hmm. important that they can store energy, but also that they're lightweight. Lightweight doesn't matter if it's gonna be bolted to the wall in your garage. And so Enphase said, what's the best battery chemistry for safety, for performance, for cost? And we don't care about weight. And they settled on uh, lithium iron phosphate. Any attributes of lithium iron phosphate that, that our, our, our viewers should be interested in? My biggest one is maintenance, more so the lack thereof. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's very reliable. Yeah. Uh, and there's no, I mean, there's no like cleaning them really. And not, there's nothing that you're going to touch that's harmful. People really <laughs> ask that about it. Like they're like, hey, I'm going to have these batteries in my home. Are they safe? Yeah. Um, and the old batteries, uh, off gas, they would give off uh, hydrogen gas, which is explosive. And they would also give off acidic micro bubbles, which will cause corrosion. And they're not what you want to breathe. So these are completely sealed, completely safe. And they're rated to be able to be used inside people's houses. We mostly put them in basements and garages. They have a ambient temperature rating of so it's between like zero degrees and 124 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, but then they actually recommend the operating temperature to be between 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 86. Um, being in Ohio and just the way that climate has been the past couple of years, I, I don't see a reason to put them outside right now. What's the point when you can use a basement or a garage? That's the other thing that's Pretty cool. Um, what's the warranty on these things? Uh, so on the Emphase system, you have a 10-year warranty on the batteries, which is going to guarantee you 75% or more of the uh, health of your battery over that 10-year period. And that's not saying that it won't last longer than that, but that's what they're guaranteeing for at least 10 years. Great. And how about the inverter itself, the microinverter that goes up on the roof under the module? And uh, so for those microinverters, that'll be their standard 25-year warranty. Which is exceptional. It's a pretty mm -hmm. long warranty, um, which is one of the reasons why they're, they're really popular. Bradley, you come from a technical background, you know, building all sorts of crazy stuff in the electronics world. What do you think about this product? Just the, the whole system. It's kind of how we say, you know, we're a turnkey operation here. I think with Enphase, that's, they're like the definition of that. They have everything from the batteries to the, uh, the microinverters connecting to the panels with their Q cables, just the whole Enphase system, the, the ensemble for the batteries, and it just works out well. And it makes it easy to maintain a system when you have, uh, have one company sort of doing the whole thing. Yeah. So it's an integrated system all from one company, all from the same engineering team, all with the same company standing behind the warranty. Um, that's important. I, mm -hmm. I think that, that that's important. How about the, the technology? How about how it's built or assembled? Um, you know, as far as design, it looks really slick. Is it solid? Uh, that's, yeah, for the batteries, especially uh, how we talked about, you know, the material of them and being lightweight and everything. The N-Charge 10, even though it's their biggest battery, is made up of three N-Charge 3s. So instead of having to pick up and mount one huge battery on the wall, you're actually mounting three smaller ones together to create that one big one. So that helps out a lot for installs and customization. If you don't exactly have the space required to do one big battery, you might be able to fit two smaller ones or three smaller ones to create that one big one. So that helps out a lot in uh, creating a uh, more clean workspace. Got it. So the design flexibility to allow a small house or a small budget to do just an in-phase uh, or a three. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, somebody who's ready to go, go crazy, they can do a 10. Mm -hmm. um, can you stack more than one 10 yet? Or is you can, that... You can do combinations of, you know, two 10s or a 10 and two threes. It's all, you know needs and budget based, you can really customize it. 
Awesome. I mean, that's a big thing that we believe in here at Third Sun Solar. There's no such thing as a one size fits all system because we all know that means one size fits some. Uh, you know, we'll get Jamie on here to talk a little bit about how they design the system with the customer. But she was telling me about the software where you click in the actual loads and you can say, okay, if I want to back up my, you know, my, my extra deep freeze and my refrigerator and my refrigerator, in my garage, I'm going to need a 10. But if I only do this, I'm going to need a three. Have you all played around with that sizing software? Yes. Yeah, we were, we were actually uh, doing that earlier today. Everybody's different. Everybody's home is different. We see so many electric bills. It's, it's pretty cool. And we can have two houses, same size, right next door to each other. But that one's got teenagers playing video games all night long and a basement full of, you know, someone's hobby is, is, you know, fish. And then that home has a retired couple and, you know, they, they're into energy efficiency and it could have a completely different electrical profile. So having the flexibility to design a system that is exactly what a customer needs, you know, is, is exciting. It's, it makes a lot of sense. You guys, um, have anything else, any other advice for our customers as they consider storage? I would highly suggest looking into the in-phase calculator online, um, playing with it, manipulating it. There's a lot of um, really cool functions on it. Um, what I like most about it is, you know, you click, you click on, you want your air conditioner, this, 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 and this on there, right? And then it gives you the size. And if you're upset with it, you just, you know what? I think I could live without my second bathroom or my floor heaters in my bathroom. So click that one off. And then it's amazing how you can actually see the size changes, um, which I think is just so cool and so fun. Again, with, with being a techie, you really get to see that. And not only is it allowing you the privilege to change that kind of stuff, but it also is actually giving you the numbers, the KWH, the surge, um, the just, it's, it's giving you all the information. I think the transparency and putting the customer in charge. Yes. Um, that's kind of George. our philosophy as and well. George. And George. Hey, <laughs> hey. And I don't need a hairdryer. So for instance, <laughs> you know, I, I might have a smaller system than my neighbor. Um, well, this is cool. Well, as we get into it, maybe we'll go on site and start to kind of give a tour of the, the parts and pieces of a system. Um, and maybe um, dig deeper into, you know, what an actual simulated power outage is and how the lights can stay on. Because at the end of the day, that's that's the, the main reason folks are into this is they want solar, uh, they want the clean energy, they want to save money, they want to insulate themselves against rising power costs, but they also want the lights to be on at night during a power outage. It's, I think during the COVID pandemic, we realized more than we, we were thoughtful of before how much we depend on electricity, you know, for our comfort, but also in a lot of ways for safety. Uh, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your busy day to talk to our customers about uh, this exciting technology. And it's quite possible that uh, folks out there will end up working with Catherine or Bradley or somebody else from Third Sun Solar Team as you uh, figure out your journey towards solar and possibly solar and storage. 